Hi, this is Adam with the BMW Repair Guide. Today we're going to diagnose and repair a leak in the EVAP system of this 2011 335i. The EVAP system on BMWs is a closed system that's in charge of catching any fumes from your fuel tank or your fuel system and storing them so they're not released into the atmosphere. So it's a very important part of your emission system on your BMW. Uh, if you have a leak in it, it usually gives you a, a service engine light on the dashboard. Uh, you will, the light will come up and if you are a home mechanic who has a scanner, diagnostic scanner, it will give you a code that, uh, that there is a leak in the system and it'll probably also give you an emissions fault code as well. So, uh, diagnosing the system is relatively easy. 90% um, of the leaks in your EVAP system, 90% plus, are gonna come from your gas cap. So we like to always start with the gas cap first uh, before we diagnose the rest of the EVAP system. So, if you're a home mechanic and you feel like you may have a leak in your EVAP system, um, like I said, 90%, maybe even more than 90% of the time, the issue is a faulty gas cap. Gas caps uh, are like any other part on your BMW, and over time, they wear out. If you think how many times this gas cap has been opened and closed since 2011, you can quickly realize that this can become a potential problem for leaking out gas fumes. This gasket in here slowly wears out. And what will happen is the fumes will escape from the gas tank and cause you to get a fault code and a service engine light on your dashboard. So we recommend before you do anything else, replace the gas cap. And I know that goes against the grain of a lot of hardcore mechanics who say, no, you should diagnose first before you purchase anything. But you can get gas caps for under $20. And most likely, worst case scenario, if it's not the gas cap that's leaking, you got a new gas cap. So um, we suggest if you're a home mechanic, even if you're a hardcore mechanic, change out the gas cap and reset the um, fault codes, clear the uh, dashboard light, and see if it comes back. If it comes back, then you're gonna have to test the rest of the EVAP system. Now, the gas cap on our car is perfectly fine. We already tested it for this video, so we are gonna move to step two, and that is smoke testing the rest of the EVAP system to try and find the leak. Okay, if you've determined that the gas cap is not the cause of the leak in your EVAP system, then you're gonna have to smoke test the rest of it. And here at the repair guide, we use the Evap Pro from Vacutech. It's a fantastic machine for more affordable models. Please look at our description below the video. We have links to where you can purchase them. When we test the rest of the system, we're going to do it through the fuel vent valve, which is very easily accessible. Its location differs among BMW models. Um, on the E90, it's right by the intake manifold. You may have to remove the air filter assembly to get to it. That's very simple, only takes a few minutes. When you find the fuel vent valve, you want to unplug it and then remove the line that goes to the rear of the car from it. Be very careful when removing this line. Age and heat makes it brittle, and if you break it, you are gonna have a really big problem. So go ahead and squeeze it and pull it loose. Now once it's loose, you're gonna to want to insert the fitting on the smoke machine. I suggest testing first to make sure you have a nice steady stream of smoke. We have a nice steady stream. And then you're gonna to wanna to insert the fitting into the plastic line like this. Now, it'd be good if you have a helper to hold that in place so it doesn't leak any smoke. I don't have a helper, so I'm going to wrap it with blue tape to make sure that it's airtight and we get a nice uh, smoke pressure in the line for testing. Okay, we're back at the gas cap and um, the EVAP system is, is full of smoke. I don't see any smoke coming out from around the gas cap. 
which means that um, the seal on this is tight. This is not the, the issue. This is not the reason why we're showing a fault code. And just to, what I like to do is just, just to confirm that I've got smoke in the system, pull the cap off. And as you can see, we've got a lot of smoke coming out of the gas tank, which means the smoke machine's working wonderfully, but um, the gas cap is definitely not the culprit. It is sealed nice and tight. So we're going to um, have to look elsewhere to try and find the leak in the EVAP system. So the next step in testing the EVAP system for a leak is to check the vapor detection pump and the charcoal canister. They are both notorious as well as the gas cap uh, for springing leaks after over time. They are made of plastic, they get brittle, the lines leading to them get brittle and can crack, causing uh, gas fumes to escape and triggering the, uh, the SEL as well as giving you a fault code. So um, every BMW model has their charcoal canister and their detection pump in a different location. Um, some older models, it's under the hood. Our E90, it happens to be in the rear of the car. So you'll have to look up your specific model to find out where the pump and the canister are located so you can check them. So the vapor detection valve and the charcoal canister that are part of the EVAP system on the E90 are actually located behind this panel uh, below the rear bumper. So to access them, you're gonna have to jack the car up. Um, we have a lift here at the BMW Repair Guide which makes life easy, but I know that most home mechanics don't have that. So you're gonna have to jack up the rear of the car so you can access these, these bolts. And, and you just use a, uh, an eight millimeter uh, socket wrench or nut driver, whichever you prefer to remove these screws actually, they're not bolts. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove these eight millimeter screws. Then once those are out, you can just grasp the plastic panel. And pull it free from the car like this. And as you can see, we now have access to the charcoal canister as well as the leak detection pump right there. Now, you can see this is tight. There's no smoke coming out, no smoke coming out of these lines. So this is definitely not the problem. Even though this is a common source of it, uh, neither of these are leaking any smoke. So they are not throwing the, uh, the dashboard light or the fault code. Okay, so we've determined it's not the gas cap leaking. We've determined it's not the vapor detection um, pump or the charcoal canister. Uh, the next place I like to look is underneath the rear seat where the fuel pump and the fuel uh, level sensor are. Both of these are notorious for getting leaks in them, especially around the gaskets and the pipes connecting them to the fuel system. So I went ahead and removed the rear seat and as soon as I removed it, um, man, there's just smoke pouring out of the fuel level sensor. So this is definitely where our leak is. This is what's causing the dashboard light. This is what's causing the fault code. Um, my guess it's a bad O-ring. We're going to go ahead and order one. Very inexpensive uh, fix and um, we have diagnosed our issue. So as you can see, diagnosing your EVAP system on a BMW is relatively easy. It's easy for the home mechanic, no need to take it into an expensive repair shop. Uh, all you need is a smoke machine. Like I said, we've got smoke machines listed in the description below this video. Uh, if you'd like to order one from one of our links, if you found our video helpful, we would appreciate it if you like it. We would also appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. And if you have any other questions concerning your BMW, please visit us at the BMWRepairGuide.com.